Hello, I'm Andrew Martinez, and I'm going to be teaching you how to do the Frank Miller style, Sin City style art using Photoshop, much like this picture of Anne Hathaway that I did in a previous project. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do color isolation and that black line effect. We're going to be using this picture of Zoe Deschanel for this tutorial. And the first thing you're, you're going to want to do is go to Layer, Duplicate Layer, or you can hit Command J. We're going to name that new layer Grayscale. And as you can tell from the name, we're going to be making this layer into a grayscale version of this picture. And to do that, we're just going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue, Saturation, or you can hit Command U. We're going to lower the saturation all the way down to negative 100 to make it black and white. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a layer mask. You can do that by hitting this little button here under in the layer menu. Next, you're going to want to select your brush tool. And with black as your active color in the foreground, we are going to paint over her lips. And instead of that turning black, what that does is it removes the black and white pixels of this layer and shows whatever is underneath um, on the layer underneath this. So in this case, it'll show her lips being red. And as you can tell, I messed up a little bit on the bottom of her lips, and I got a little bit of her cheek color right there. And uh, that's a simple fix. All you need to do is select your color back to white and paint over the mistake using white. And instead of painting white, it'll paint the black and white layer back into place. And this is a um, temporary fix, so it's not permanent or anything. So it doesn't delete the pixels or modify the pixels permanently because you're doing this all on a layer mask. Next, we're going to isolate the blue color of her eyes. And her eyes are pretty round, so all you need to do is get your brush roughly the size of her eye. And it should be a one simple click. The next thing we're going to do is make it look more like it's a cartoon, hand-drawn style of Frank Miller. So to do that, we need to mess around with the levels a little bit to make the... So to do that, we go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, or Command L. And I'm still working in the mask layer, so you need to switch to the actual image like I just did there. Next, go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. This will change the levels on the actual photo and not the mask. Um, the values I'm going to be using will be 40, 0.7, and 210. Oops, 210. There we go. And hit OK. That just gives it more of a contrast, makes the darker is dark, makes the light colors more light. Next, we are going to add a filter. So go to Filter, Artistic, and hit Cutout. Make sure on, over on the right, number of levels are 8, Edge Simplicity is 0, and Edge Fidelity is 1. And now, as you can see, her nose is a little bit too light. And if I were to move forward as is, her nose would probably disappear and it would make it look like she has no nose. So to fix that, I'm going to use the magic wand. Simply select the shadow of her nose and we're going to make that darker by going to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast. And we're going to lower the contrast. We're going to lower the contrast all the way. And lower the brightness just a little bit until I, you know, until I get what I feel is right. So that turns out to be around negative 10 or negative 15. Hit OK. Deselect that. Now we can move forward. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer. Because now we are going to be making the Sin City Rain style layer to drop that in the background of the picture. And to add a new layer, you can just hit simply go do this or what I like to do I like to work out of the layer menu and I like to hit this little button next to the trash can it brings up a new layer we're gonna rename the new layer rain then we are going to go to edit fill 
and we're going to hit 50% gray. If yours doesn't say 50% gray, don't worry, you can use this drop down menu and just simply select it. Leave the opacity at 100%, hit OK. That'll give you this gray screen. Next, we're going to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. The amount you're going to want to type in 400%, or you can use the slider bar and slide it all the way to the right. Going to select Gaussian, and then we're going to select Monochromatic. Hit OK. That'll give you this nice uh, broken TV style effect as if your channels weren't coming in on your TV. Now we need to blur those pix pixels. So go to Blur, Motion Blur, type in 90 degrees and 999 pixels, or again, just simply slide the slider all the way to the right. Hit OK. That'll give you these nice black and white straight lines. Next, we need to go to Edit, Transform, Skew. That'll put a bounding box around your pixels or everything on this layer. Pull the top right corner all the way to the right. And pull the bottom left corner all the way to the left. That'll give it a 45 degree angle type effect since this is supposed to be rain and rain doesn't fall directly straight down. And before you can do anything else, you need to apply this effect. And as you can see, you can't do anything. Most everything is blacked out or grayed out. So simply just click off of it. It'll give you this box. Hit apply. Next, you need to, in the rain layer, in this drop down menu where it says normal, change it from normal to overlay. And what that does is it sort of blends the layers together without physically blending or flattening the layers. Now we are going to change the levels on the rain layer to make them less dark and less prominent. And so again, just go into your level menu like before. We can use the values of 45, 1.6, 200. The output levels, we're going to leave at 0, and we're going to change the white to 100. Hit OK. That just darkens up the layer a little bit. It gives it a better look. Now we need to add a new layer. Name the new layer black. Select your brush, make sure black is your active color in the foreground. And this step I sped up a little bit. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use black and paint all the way around in the negative space. Solid black, note the opacity is at 100%. You're going to want to paint all the way around her face or all the way in the background of the picture until all you see is the figure's face or whatever your subject you're using. Once that is done, you're going to change the opacity on black. Um, I was messing around with the opacity you're going to hear. I think I eventually settled on 60%. It's also really important that um, the black layer is at the top of your stacking order. So um, that way the rain doesn't show up on her shoulder, but the black kind of uh, frames her face better. Once that is done, you could this could be your final project or final product. But I like to add a text box. So to give it more of a comic book feel. So you're going to use the rectangle tool to do this. Make sure white is your foreground color. Just drag a rectangle. That'll give you a simple white rectangle. And we're going to put some text in there. Um, you can lower the opacity on it. I lowered the opacity to 80%, so it's more of a gray instead of a white. It's up to you, though. Next, we are going to put a blur on it. So go to Filter, Blur, Shape, Blur. It's going to ask you to rasterize the layer. Just simply hit OK. For the radius, use 15 pixels and select the very first shape. It should be the skinny arrow. Hit OK. What that does is it blurs the left and right sides of our text box. Gives it more of a comic book feel. 
Next, we're going to select the text tool, change our text color to black because we're typing on white. I chose Comic Sans because we're emulating comic book style art, so Comic Sans is an appropriate font. 30 point text, and I'm just going to simply type her name, Zoe. Use the selection tool to reposition the text in the box. And to give it one simple more added touch for comic book likeness, we're going to transform, skew the text, pull on the top right corner to italicize the text a little bit to make it look more like a comic book just a little bit, and apply the transformation. And center the text just a little bit if it needs to be centered. And that's your finished product. This is just a really cool way to emulate Frank Miller style art from Sin City or um, just make pictures dramatic and make them stylized pieces of pop art. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks.